Today we're going to talk about making an offering. The text is from the book of Exodus, chapter 35, just one verse, verse 29. All the Israelite men and women whose hearts made them willing to bring anything for the work that the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done, brought it as a free will offering to the Lord. Here we find ourselves in a situation where Moses has told the people that they're going to build a tabernacle in which to worship. God's presence will be in that place. This takes place while the Hebrew people traveled in the wilderness after the uh, Exodus. So this tabernacle will travel with them. Their God will be in their midst as they journey. Now, some of the people who heard what Moses had to say felt in their heart that this was a good thing. The text says then that their belief that this was a good thing was displayed by bringing gifts for the work of God. Now, some of the people brought material gifts, but some of them brought their talents and their skills for the building of the tabernacle. The thing is, they didn't just have a feeling or an idea that this would be a good thing. They took an action. Now, often in our lives, the Spirit moves in our hearts to do a good thing for some person, some cause, or some organization. But we can be stopped by negative thoughts. Thoughts that say we don't have enough to give or that our gift isn't as good as someone else's, somebody with more talent. Well, don't let that happen to you. Your gifts given freely, as the scripture describes, are used to display what's in your heart. Your gifts show the goodness in your heart. It's your way of saying, I care. I care about you or I care about the cause or the work of this organization. That's the real gift, the gift of your heart. So whatever need or cause you might be moved to help. Let your care and love be freely given, just as these people who built a tabernacle in the wilderness.